product is a book. It is any information that you can sell your knowledge, your information, and make money and make a living off of it. So like if I never had to plan an event again, which I love planning and designing, just not 100 or even 50 or 30 a year, um, but to live and grow and pay people and pay for these things, like you got to work. But what people don't understand is like if you don't get work, you don't get paid unless you have reoccurring revenue. And the only way to do that is if you have a product, right? So it's like I sell videos, I sell books, um, I have lots of ebooks, and I just give it to people that I meet. Like at TSC, like I speak a ton, and if people ask for them, or like people will buy them, you know, but that's not a revenue driver for me. My revenue driver is my information, my knowledge and experience, and sharing and teaching and leading people into being successful. So, um, but, but like, had, if I had not gone through 16 years of like, what people are like, oh my God, your life sounds like hell. I'm like, no, I, I have fun as I go. I've learned as I've gone. And now I just really want to teach people because I'm passionate about it. And if I can take over the internet and become a sales funnel to teach people the right way, the psychology way of weddings, and we all help each other, the right people will come. And then there's other planners that think I'm crazy, literally. They're like, why would you teach people what you do? I'm like, I don't know about you, but when I'm 65, I'm not working on this kind of a floor for 20 hours, not eating, not peeing. I mean, come on, let's be honest. You can't do this for, it's like working at a bar, right? When I was in college, I would walk out of there with $1,200 a night. And my dad's like, honey, this isn't a career. You know, like, it, it'll last for a little bit. And this is when smoking was allowed, you know, and I would just stink when I went home. And he's like, you know, you can do it for a little while. You can work at Hooters. I didn't work at Hooters. My friends did. But, like, you can do that, you know, but you can't do that forever. Like, you need to think of something. So now it's like the older I get, I need to do that next something because I, there's Sundays I wake up, I can't get out of bed. I feel like I've been hit by a train, literally. The, 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 my feet are so swollen. So, you, again, I never really thought long-term strategy and now in one day sitting through a meeting, I'm like a different girl. I'm like, wait, okay, we're doing this, 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 and this, and deadlines. And my web people are like, who is this girl? Like, you never give us deadlines. I'm like, well, who is this girl? This girl has a new group and a new business coach. She was up my ass to get stuff done. And I need that. We all need that. We all need someone to hold us accountable or we're never going to get it done. Mm -hmm.